Hey guys, welcome to the 100th episode of the Tech Point Africa podcast. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping, keep clapping. Just just it's I'm it's, very excited. It's been an awesome ride. Right? It's right. been an awesome ride. I remember the first episode. Not like it was yesterday like if you will push it. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> it's been mm. a long time time coming and he can't believe we are here, right? And I'm happy to be like take you down memory lane. From oh. where we started, started from the bottom. Now, you're now here. we are here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell Teja you said his, he, he was the one that started the bottom. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> wait now. I'm, that's no, I'm going to take the snitch. we, we, we. Take what Africa is we. Yes. Mm. Please. Okay. Let me. <laughs> Anyways, is the one hundred edition of the Tech Point Africa podcast tap, right? And the first edition was released on September sixth, twenty nineteen. It was Titilola and Tage, like they came with the format of you no. Know, when something just starts, we just come up with something that we can start with while we are treat as we go. So it started with like a scripted rundown of tech happenings around Africa. We cover Kenya, Zimbabwe. In that first ep- episode, South Africa, like three African countries were featured in that um, episode. I, I don't know if you know T Lola and Tej. They were the first anchor of the first two co-hosts of Tech Point African podcast. T Lola was the former editor for uh, internet culture dex dex in tech points and tage was tage who is now in is who is now with tech crunch was a startup reporter and yeah so in the coming episode the next episode it was adewale and who you are if you don't know these two people i don't know who you don't know <laughs> <laughs> who you are is a uh, editor-in-chief chief servant of tech point africa now and adewale who is the co-founder and ex-CEO and now the CEO and co-founder of Talent QL and OSCO. And then we went on and on and on with several people from the editorial team coming up to, to, to co-host on, the, on Tech Point Africa podcast. And yes, 73 editions later, in March 2021, we took a, a kind of long guy at us. Like, it's a drink water on the one you have. <laughs> we are coming. Sorry. But um, we didn't plan me, it let, like let that. Me, let me ask you a question. Why are you being measured in your narration? I want excitement. I'm so, no. You are <laughs> being measured. You are counting it for us like we are in no, kindergarten. I want, to, I want you to soak it in, right? Mm. It's been a long way coming, guy. It's been a long way coming. Um, I want just you to give, give us like ginger. Give the us ginger. the bass boost. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, so okay. the first episode, Tage and Titi Lola hosted that first episode. It was scripted. It was awesome. Help and it was me. nice. This then we now changed the format. From me. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, yeah, Excuse continue. me. Oh, yeah, continue. The, please, please, please. Continue. Continue. Please, please. All joint edition, please don't let us fight. <laughs> please. You, you Thank can. you very you, much. You can. 100 edition fight. No, we are not doing Abby, this. Abby. I refuse to be drawn into I'm no, a peace lover. Please. Um, <coughs> yes. Precious. 73, um, 73 editions later, we went on a long guiatus because, well, Black Mind Africa went fully remote and it became a very strong task to, a very difficult thing to record online and still get you the quality you are supposed to get. You get. So we went on a long guiatus and then in March 2022, we came back with episode 74. You must stop looking at me like that. Emmanuel, please let me talk. Please narrate, narrate. You are throwing that gas with your eyes. <laughs> I don't like what you're doing. <laughs> and now, you can get all the doses of Tech Point Africa podcast on Google podcast, on Apple, <laughs> oh no, on Apple podcast, on Spotify, and everywhere else you get your podcast. Bolu will be so proud. Yes, he right. will. <laughs> he will. <laughs> and I can gladly tell you that no episode looks like the previous one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Yes, like there are new episodes with, with 
interesting conversations with sprinkles of expert opinion. As we came back with a bang this year. Yeah, and yeah. now we are on the 100 edition. I'm so excited about it. I don't know why I'm honest, I can't feel it in my voice, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And for this reason, for this reason, right? We are going to drop some trivias at the end of this episode, right? I'm going to answer, and we have <laughs> juicy <laughs> prizes for you, right? And so stay with us. By the end of this podcast, we are going to give you some questions you have to answer. And honestly, <laughs> and faithfully, yes. no, and faithfully. Cheating, no, no cheating, cheating, no lies, <laughs> and it's off limits to take pointers. I'm looking yes. at you, Chris. <laughs> I'm also looking at Victoria. <laughs> I'm also looking at Mike, all of you. <laughs> so Stay out you, of if this. If you know a tech pointer, don't bother. <laughs> Stay out of this. You'll find out. Right. And and then we'll be we'll be very, very happy to hear what you feel about Tech Point Africa podcast. What stands out for you in any of our episodes? Which of the episodes is your favorite? Who do you like listening to? Don't say who likes to rant most because I don't want anybody mentioning my <laughs> name. We are not going to ask that. <laughs> who do you like listening to? And I think we should just quickly talk about what stands out for us as people on the other side speaking to you. Right? It's, it's, it's not an easy task. But what especially stands out for me, recording Tech Point African podcast, is coming up with titles. Yes, that that thing like you just discussed like four different things and you have to come up with something that summarizes everything you've spoken about is a is a big tax so emmanuel can you tell us what stands out for you okay so i think some of the standards of stands out for me or has stood out so far so good is getting used to the idea that i'm talking to someone mm. but when I'm recording, it's usually You're talking to yourself, talking to myself, <laughs> or I'm talking to you guys here, and we're just having fun and throwing bands around. But that that idea that people are listening, people actually getting insights from this, people people are just actually looking forward to Tech Point Africa podcast every week, and yeah, and I don't like listening to my voice. I, I don't <laughs> once once I record the podcast i avoid listening to it I as much as on, i can like emmanuel i listen to many of our episodes I, it's not as if my voice is soothing to me but i just like to listen <laughs> to it because I've, I've listened to more episodes that i i was i didn't feature than can you imagine to the ones that can you I imagine <laughs> wow <laughs> but by the way when we started we only released one episode every week but now you get Two episodes because so Isn't much is happening. Tried, yeah, yes. so that they will answer that and make money for them. Just you know, you say what? And they shouldn't have been. Shouldn't that have been a trivial question? <laughs> no, 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 we have, we have, we have other questions to ask them. Yeah, and it's so not easy. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I can so, tell you, it's not. So yeah, so you so him. Yeah, I've been trying to think of something deep to say, but deep, um, yeah, <laughs> no, deep. Uh, but the only thing that stands out right now. Probably hearing the sound of my voice. Oh, no. Uh-huh. Oh, so you like the sound of your voice? Hey, <sighs> what do they call these people? Narcy- Proud. Yes. Proud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Narcissistic. <laughs> Narcissus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't, I can't help it. My my, my voice sounds hey, shitting. Or like Nifemi that says that is not so. Yes. Uh, Please, let's move on. We're <laughs> not. <laughs> 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 oh, no, man. Yeah, so new family is going to come for me, yes. But um, I think one thing that stood out for me, mostly like from a producer standpoint, is <laughs> this producer. <laughs> yeah, proud too. <laughs> <laughs> is the um, like getting to see how each and every one of us like grows. So before, like before now, we always have issues with people like having too many pauses and doing ums and ums. But I've noticed that that has like reduced, like with doing more podcasts, doing more episodes, we've like sort of, like, we've sort of gotten into the groove mm. and it's easier and faster for us to like, okay, just see that it's us talking to each other and having other people listening. So yeah. 
Yeah, that cool. has been. I'm touched. <laughs> but why did you have to bring me in at the beginning? <laughs> Please disclaim my I don't like violence. Thank okay. you very much, Mr. Host. All right, thank you very much for giving me the table back. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I think it's been an interesting one. And if you've noticed, we've experimented with different forms with, with the Tech Point Africa podcast. We've had really, really long ass episodes, and we've had short ones, we have medium sized ones. And they've all been interesting, and we'd like to actually hear what you think about our podcasts. Uh, do you think this format we have is interesting and engaging? And if you think so, you know what to do with the hashtag Point Africa podcast. But let's leave that for another day. But the stories we'll be talking about today are actually quite interesting, and a little bit. I'm taking the stories with a pinch of salt. So I, I guess you should too. The two stories actually, you have to take them with a pinch <laughs> of salt from the onset. But it's making me think about how companies have been able to build a customer base right from the onset, right? Well, Amazon is planning to launch in Nigeria, or so goes the story. And <laughs> come on, according to have a little faith. Oh, come on, please, please, please. <laughs> so according to some uh, reports. They are planning to launch in Nigeria. They've been hiring. And, but Chingerson is going to give us a lowdown on that. But one unique thing about Amazon so far so good is their aggressive push for customer service. And TechPoint is partnering with Temai uh, for the Temai Elevate conference. And you at, at the conference, you actually learn how to use effective communication te- technologies to scale your business. So on July 23rd, 2022 we'll be having the tema elevate 1.0 conference and we'll be having conversations around the several spectrums of communications and how they shape the way we do our business and of course you're going to be learning from the best people who have done massive stuff around growth in the african startup space or the nigerian startup space and customer service customer communications it's quite important i am i can't stress this enough for some neo banks but let's let's move on <laughs> uh, <laughs> neo banks that shall never be named yes yes so i, I went over an interview in there but let's come back to amazon a company that has a lot of issues but you have to give them that customer service that customer communications but it's what are, what who communicated to them that this, <laughs> nigeria is a good market is. well I, I i really don't know who told them that but according to business insider they they got some leaked documents and um, according to these documents amazon plans to launch in a couple of countries in the next year so don't worry it's it's, it's not like it's going to happen this year. It's next year. So they're planning to launch in South Africa and Nigeria here in Africa. So South Africa would be February 2023 and Nigeria will be April 2023. And they are doing this under a good name, Project Fella. I do not... Tell me about it. Yes. So <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't, I don't read Fella. Um, so I'd like to hear. What did you say? Mm. Don't fella, fella. Do, you, do you not rate? Mm. The only fella that fella, fella do it No. All of them. Fella. Uh, what's it called? Anikula Kukuti. Anik- yes, is that is it that one? I want to know who you are referring yes, to. Oh, yes, yes, okay. the fella Kuti. <laughs> and you can say we should not fight in this <laughs> episode of <laughs> the Point Africa podcast. I don't rate him. Like so, so as a social enough, crusader, I, yes. <laughs> but as a musician, I don't rate him. Funny enough, I kind of. I don't, I don't say I kind of agree, but there are some songs that I feel like, like I'm just like, okay, can we get to the song? Why all this instrumental? You don't like, guess it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's it. <coughs> okay, please go on. Let's, let's not drag. <laughs> uh, I love, I love Come this. Come on. I, I love this. Anyway, <laughs> the point. What? Uh, the what point. I, 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 <laughs> yes. Sorry. The, you, you just love Riley. Wait, not we just forget about Amazon <laughs> and trash this fella issue. <laughs> So you would soon see where I'm going to. So okay. project fella, why project fella? That's that's where I want to start with. Why I could name the project project fella? What is it about fella that makes you think that okay, you is or did they just pick one name? They could have easily done project Mandela, Sarah, Mandela, or project Mandela, <laughs> or project Sankara, or project Kruma. Yes, maybe like they are trying to penetrate a market that is difficult, so you they could use the name of a liberator. Maybe in Kruma 
as he can you can I will do that fella is sort of fit now he doesn't fit a bit what the see it's one thing for you to be singing and it's another thing for you to be doing the work hey you might know what to do you know do you know do you know do you know the kind of movement that you use song to push what movement please Read. I don't know Yoruba history very well, but I know of stories that you song yeah. to rile people up for people to go and fight for their rights and all. You know, you can do a lot with songs, well, and that is where it starts from because moving, music is moving a, on from is fella. A, I'm not done. I'm not done. Wait, wait, wait. We never talk finish. Wait. Yes, we never talk finish. No, 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 no. no. I, 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 I What's going on here? That's one blasphemy. You better not make me forget the question I want to ask about Amazon now. Don't worry, you remember it. She anyway, we, we will continue this off stage. <laughs> yes, we will. Uh, please. Uh, anyway, now that we've moved on from Fela, um, it's curious why 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 does Amazon want to move into Nigeria? In short, why do they want to bring e-commerce services? So Amazon has they have a few businesses here in Africa. So AWS has been around for a couple of years. So it's a bit interesting that they now want to move into e-commerce and by the way man also take it with a pinch of salt because of the economic realities so um what what do you guys think amazon is seeing that we are not seeing i mean jumia is struggling and they are the largest e-commerce company in nigeria possibly africa but they are struggling to be profitable and um konga is the other player here in nigeria and we don't you don't have an insight into their numbers but i can as of the last time we did it was not so great when um, we were part of xenox and of course mm. so in fact it it wasn't great as of the last time we could see conga's numbers and yeah you actually wrote some stories about conga in the past and of course jumia's own struggles yenka uh, uh data lead for intelligence actually documented the whole struggle that Jumia has had since it went public and even before it went public it wasn't profitable and was an, it was a very very huge issue so i don't know i think i don't i'm trying to play the devil's advocate here right mm-hmm. we've seen the likes of google and facebook trying to bring their imprint into africa more and more and more and more so yeah. maybe and for those guys it's obvious that they are playing the long game the the monetary benefits they will have it's you can't just quite see it right now right but if you are thinking oh they are playing the long game they are seeing a certain age demographic that are probably going to be majorly uh, majorly in the middle class they're going to be digitally native yeah. and uh, they'll be able to afford and use most of this product so if google is bringing uh, the subsea cable to make internet way faster in africa or yeah most some countries in africa and if facebook is also bringing uh, subsea cable to make internet very 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 fast in africa which are both long games then maybe amazon, amazon is also too. trying to play the long game and in my mind i'm thinking okay why not acquire one of the e-commerce players we have already mm, yeah. right. done an acquisition in, in africa so it was not exactly africa they acquired souk.com okay um, that was a, a middle eastern e-commerce company and the it, yeah, that was 2021 so they formally became amazon.com slash eg because souk also got into egypt later on so okay. yeah they've done that sort of acquisition but none that was like um those guys predominantly had a, uh, their operations in but which company do you f- think we will be fitting of amazon's acquisition i think there are a lot maybe not a lot but there are a few that they could acquire right so um they could acquire jumia if you're being honest if i may say it's bit befitting jumia struggles aside yeah. jumia acquiring jumia makes sense a lot of sense if you want to play in that space they've Acquiring built, Jumia, they've built the infrastructure over time yeah. they have a lot of warehouses they have okay maybe befitting is not the word who would agree you know th- you don't need to agree by flash if it the thing is <laughs> you're fighting done for this your life work. they've done this work for a long time of mm. course they are looking at a future that would pay off eventually yeah. mm. right i don't know if the 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 e-commerce platforms that have done well to an extent and have become popular i don't know if they are the kind of 
platforms that are looking out for an exit. Well, you, you, so the thing is, sometimes you're not even looking for this exit. The exit comes to meet you. So um, we, we know that they are struggling. Like, they are trying to improve their profits, right? Mm-hmm. They are, they've piloted um, a, health, a health tech offering. They've done quick commerce. And they're trying to do all of this to, like, get either more revenue, more, uh, revenue generating options for them. And they are trying to just do as many things as possible to see what sticks, right? So... Yes, and we don't know right now if they are actually in the market and looking for someone to acquire them. We don't know that. Mm-hmm. But let's say Amazon is really serious about coming into Nigeria. Juma is the right um, can need to uh, to acquire. Like they have the they have the knowledge. They've been doing this they for ten years plus. They have the infrastructure. They have the reach, right? They have the 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 people as well. So it just is a no brainer really from Amazon's. Uh, point of view, but that's on the outside. Maybe if they look at their financials and all, they might decide no, this doesn't make any sense for us. But like considering all of th- all the things I've mentioned, their reach, their knowledge of the local um, system, then I, I think it's a no-brainer for anybody to acquire them. Yeah. yeah. So as we say on the streets, can't do a if we easy. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Jumia it's currently worth about six hundred and twenty million dollars right now on New York Stock Exchange. So mm. if Amazon flashes a billion dollars at them right now, I don't know. And it <laughs> makes sense because the, the acquisitions that Amazon has made have developed, a lot of them have been in that range. Yeah. They've done a few billion dollar acquisitions. So yeah, so I, I think it makes sense. And um, But of course, the whole the Amazon, on the other hand, Amazon will have to deal with all the issues Jimmy has been facing. Yeah. Uh, Everything from infrastructure, logistics, logistics, addressing systems, everything. So it's it's going to be a lot of work. And I don't know if the African market is ripe for that kind of investment now. Or, of course, playing the long game, but even even though, even (laughs) though, even though. But that's... I mean, the long game here is not five years. It's probably 10 years plus. 10 years plus. Mm -hmm. If you are being very optimistic... Okay. Um, okay. Let, let's let me let me go on. If Nigeria gets its right at twenty twenty three elections, mm. probably. But if we don't, if. ten years. Forget about it. <laughs> forget about the next ten years. Just go and marry or something. <laughs> Just go, go and do something else. But yeah, that's that's an interesting one. And guys, I would like to hear what you think about the e commerce market. It's huge. It's huge. It's getting bigger and bigger. But as of twenty twenty one. Uh, 2020, Africa accounted for just three percent of global e-commerce activities. That's just, that's just. I'm just putting it out there, and yeah, it's increasing, but of course, it pales in comparison to what you find in other countries. But speaking about ambitious projects and questionable projects, take this news with a pinch of salt too. <laughs> I hear, I hear, Uganda wants to go to space. What's going on? <coughs> so yeah, um, why do you clear your truth, Nifemi? <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> okay, please continue. No, no, no. Okay, so Uganda has announced that they will be launching a satellite in September 2022. That's this year. They are doing it in collaboration with NASA. Apparently, it's something that they've... Uh, it has been in the works since 2019. So, in 2019, Uganda's president, Yoweri Museveni, I hope I did not murder that man's name. Hmm, he will forgive <laughs> you. I don't think he might... <laughs> So in 2019, he first met with the Russian, Nash, Nash, Russian, uh, what's it called? The Russian. Uh, it's a long name, so I don't want to. But it's something that has to do with space and space exploration and all of that. So he first met with them, and he started pushing for space exploration in Uganda. Pushed Parliament to, to uh, what's the word to. He pushed Parliament to sign to to agree to create a budget for space exploration and all of that. So since 2019, they've been on. They've been trying to get people to space. That is basically people, it. Like not get, objects. Get, they've been trying to get. <laughs> well, they've been trying to get. The rich people. No, they're not rich people. Okay. They were trying to get <sighs> a satellite to launch oh, in space. Okay. So yeah. So they they they. In um, in association with JASA, what's it called? JAX. Is a Japanese 
um, authorities. <laughs> Let me be fine. Well, Africans and 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 Asians and Russians. Yeah. What? So they sent. They've educated three students, all male. I don't know why. It takes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> all male, and yeah. So they've they've done the they've done the satellite and all, and they've sent it to JAXA. That is the Japanese. Japanese satellite authority to test it and all of that. So it's supposed to launch in September this year. This year. Okay. Cool. So economic benefits, measurable benefits. Nigeria have ha- has how many satellites? What? What? Like, are, how has it helped us so far? So good. So so <laughs> so interestingly, um, we have about is it eight countries that have um, satellites in space eight african countries that have satellites in space out of egypt, 50 countries egypt we have 54. egypt egypt, egypt leads the way with nine satellites then followed by south africa that has eight Algeria has seven nigeria has six morocco has three currently we have 41 satellites satellites launched by african countries so do you remember the word moribund <laughs> <laughs> Which of them? <laughs> Interestingly, <laughs> one of Nigeria satellites. In fact, I think we will have just two satellites, two working satellites as at now, out of all the six that we supposedly launched. So, but yeah, the a, a good a good one for Uganda, right? It has <laughs> <laughs> even if some of the ones some of these countries have launched Amuri bond, they they launched like they have a footprint, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> in this space so yeah i think it's a welcome thing for uganda for trying this out yeah so i mean satellites right are actually very very interesting piece of technology uh you could use it you could use satellites to beam internet signals to people in remote areas i mean at least elon musk has shown us that much with starlink mm-hmm. right but and uh what's helping people with education uh teaching so beaming internet to remote areas means the schools in those areas will be able to access the internet and get access to learning uh transparency in elections you can use it to monitor activities these are the theoretical benefits of satellites On now paper. of all those things what I'm, uganda even wants to use it for what do they want to use it to so do th- <laughs> they said yeah. they want to facilitate water quality so fertility use it to yeah yeah it, it use makes it sense. for land use use it in oil and gas operations blah 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 etc etc so okay water quality so map regions with good water so fertility those, those are really really good projects but i would like to know what other african countries have done successfully with the satellite i mean nigeria i'm particular about nigeria <laughs> i mean so, so interestingly, Nigeria has done quite a bit, not as much as you would expect them to do. I think I wrote an article about that. I, it was um, published this year, and we've done quite a bit. We've had, um, we've even helped with hurricanes. We have helped with international disasters. We've done quite a bit. With hurricanes. Go, Niger. Niger. hurricanes in Go Niger. 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 Go Niger. Go Niger. Go Niger. We helped. We helped Our with hurricanes. Has benefited other people. We helped with hurricanes in Katrina. We, we helped it with the Hurricane Katrina in 2000 and what? can't remember the exact year. But we <laughs> helped with that. We've also helped in Nigeria, actually. We helped the army map the Zambiza yes. forest for... For the insurgents. Yeah. That has we've successfully wiped out. Can okay, I focus on the positive? <laughs> okay, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we had several other projects, quick win projects, so many things. So it's not like, uh-uh, let's, let's have faith in this country. Uh-uh. All right, if you are like Onome and you have faith in this country, tell All us what you best. think about <laughs> this story, Uganda and its launching of satellites. I think it's an interesting proposition and it makes sense. Forget my uh, skepticism. Don't pay too much attention to it. But if you are curious, you should actually take a look at the research behind space technology and what we've done so far so good in Nigeria. So Onome will be linking, will be linking to Onome's article in description of this episode so yes it's interesting and of course i even forgot to mention uh satellite technology it's improving uh, amazon is coming to nigeria and apparently they're even hiring for aws they're hiring uh, for cloud positions here in nigeria so there yeah, we could actually see a domestic data center an amazon data center here in nigeria or a more hands-on uh, approach to 
operating AWS in Nigeria. Maybe because I mean, I want to mention this guy's name, but I won't mention his name. <laughs> but paying for stuff with dollars has become so difficult. Very difficult. So if these guys are hiring locally and building stuff locally, you should be able to pay for stuff with uh, the Naira. Maybe if without you, a cap. Why? Without a cap. That's that's it's quite fun. I mean, Uber did it successfully, and probably the likes of Netflix and Amazon. Uh, other global giants, when they want to make money from the African market, Africans should not be having difficulties to pay for all these things. So yeah, those are interesting propositions. I mean, you can't pay, you can't buy stuff from Amazon, huge stuff without paying through your news from black market rates. So, so yeah, so many many issues we've discussed, and so many many issues we've discussed in the past. And Nifem is about to give us some trivia. Yes, as I promised, I'm back. So there's, we have three questions that we have to, that you would have to answer <clears throat> to be the rep- recipient of the grand prize of 120 gig of data. 120 any, gig. 120 gig of data what? on any network of your choice, of any network of your choice. So we have three questions, and I want you to listen clearly, carefully to the questions and the steps you have to take to be able to win the grand prize, right? So the first question is, what was the title of the first edition that aired in September 6, 2019? And how long did it last? The first episode of Tech Point African Podcast. That is the first question. What was the title and how long did it last? The second question is, in 2020, after the lockdown was relaxed, right? We tried out... Uh, Tech Point Africa podcast video editions, right? That we released on Tech Point Africa YouTube channel. I so, see those videos and I cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for the two beginnings. So, which ep- which episode was our first video edition? Which episode of Tap was our first video edition? And then the third question is: How many co-hosts has featured on Tech Point Africa podcast since it started in 2019? How many co-hosts has featured on Tech Point Africa podcast since it started in 2019? Uh, uh, then you mention the first four. <laughs> Nifemi. Sir. Take it easy now. Uh-uh. What are all the hosts? Even me, I'm not I even sure. I just should it. list them now. We just <laughs> number. Oh, and okay. The first this is, four. Oh, I was thinking should, they should list it. And the first four. I, I probably mentioned the first four when we were talking earlier. So, yes. Espo. Yes, Espo. You see, I'm nice. <laughs> I don't make me look like a bad person. I'm okay, nice. So, is that all so the three question? questions. So, how do you win? So, follow us on Twitter at techpoint.ng. Techpoint, D O T N G. Then, if, when you follow us, then you subscribe to Techpoint African Podcast on any of the platform you listen to it and share a screenshot that you subscribed. Then, <laughs> you will now share your favorite. Tech Point African Podcast edition on Twitter and add the hashtag Tech Point African Podcast. One word, Tech Point African Podcast. Hashtag. So did you get that? You can listen to this I'm part again to get to that. Right? So you send your response as a DM to us on Twitter. Please add the hashtag Tech Point African Podcast to your response. So as a response to the three questions, you send it to us in our DM. Follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to Tech Point Africa Podcast on, on any platform you use to listen to our podcast and share a screenshot along with your response. Then share your favorite Tech Point African Podcast edition. So we need to share. Yes, you have to share. Follow the instructions. Follow, Follow the, the instructions. instructions. You see, hmm. I'm lining them out hmm. to win the grand prize of 120 gig of data. Sounds like on any hours. of your pla- of, of your network. <laughs> yeah, any internet service provider you use or major provi- uh, service provider. And so you had Nifemi. Tweet with the hashtag Tech Point Africa Podcast. Any any network provider is MTN, Airtel, Etisal, to. And, and and you don't want to mention G Glow? Are they still providing any? <laughs> Come on! You first Please, started. You first dream. started with before, before they interrupted me. There's, there's another good news. There's okay. another good news. Okay. Right. We are creating a leaderboard. 
right? So for every episode, that's from for, next week. From next week, from ev- for every episode on uh, from next week, we will give you we will release a trivia, right? That you will answer. So we will populate that leaderboard with responses for every episode. So at the end of every quarter, we look at that leaderboard. Whoever gets the highest um, question on the leaderboard would get a gift from us, which we are not going to disclose now. So look out for all of our episodes. All of all of the episodes will be releasing every week, twice in a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Listen to the trivia at the end of the episode, answer it, and we document it. We are the media. We keep data, right? We document it, and at the end of we the... We have receipts. We have receipts, yes. Yes, those are receipts. You will get your gift if you top the table. Again, Tech Point Africa employees, friends and family are not part of this giveaway. <laughs> yep. yep. It's not a giveaway. You have to work for this. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, we, can, we can't really call it giving it away. So, yeah, it's actually interesting and engaging. And, of course, Leaderboard is... I'm, ac- I'm actually excited about Leaderboard, right? The next three months, who is going to be leading that Leaderboard in the next three months? No Tech Pointers. <laughs> Chris, I'm looking at you again. Victoria, stop raising your hand. <laughs> yes, I'm Victoria. I'm Bolu. Oh, Bolu was supposed to be part of us too. Yeah, Bolu could not make it today. And yeah, we actually missed him. He's he was, absent. He, yeah, he's avoidably <laughs> absent. But who's going to handle. If you're listening to us for the first time, yeah, please handle it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, yeah, it's been an interesting one. And if this episode was your favorite episode, make us know that with the hashtag Tech Point Africa Podcast. And you can also give us feedback if there are any holes in our logic and argument. Send those reports to podcast at Tech Point Africa via email and if you're listening to us for the first time just share with your friends and well wishers and enemies on google podcast apple podcast spotify stitcher i had radio podcast addict and anywhere else you get your podcast this is not my first rodeo you know that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, should, we, just, we should actually do a round of applause for you so well oh well no <laughs> No, <laughs> that is you feel me. Let no, the, the, let the, let's let go and continue our fellow fight behind the, the scenes. Bye, bye, everyone. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.